In part B, we are given the product of sum form, and we need to convert this to sum of products and also optimize the actual product of sum form. So we're going to do this right here. And when we write this out, we are going to have our uh, key map. And I'm just going to copy it from part A because it's going to be the exact same thing. So we have the same exact key map and it's going to be like this now empty. So looking at this first part, we have an A naught plus a B naught plus a D naught. So our A naught is this row, our B naught is only this row, and our D naught is this column and this column. So that means that we're going to have a zero and then a zero here. And we started off with ones last time, but now we're starting off with zeros. And that's because in the previous video, when we did part A, we have the sum of products right here we can see. Now this one and this one are written as the product of sums. So we're kind of going backwards and think of it as like that. So we're given these two. Now let's look at this next part right here. The A plus B naught plus C. We're looking in these rows. We're looking in this row specifically. And then we're only looking on this part. So we're gonna have a zero here and a zero here. We're gonna do the same thing with this. We have an A naught right here. We have our B, so this row. And then only the D naught. So we're gonna have a zero here and a zero here. Next and last, we have a B plus a C naught plus a D naught. So we have this row and this row, the Bs. We have the C naught. So C naught is going to be on this side. And then we have the D naught. So it's only gonna be right here. And that is all the places that our zeros are going to be. So now that we have that, we can start combining some things. First thing that I'm going to do is combine all of these zeros here because it's in the same column, super easy. We are going to set our f equal to, and then we're going to have a c naught in here. And then we're going to have a plus d naught. Next thing that we're going to solve for is, we'll just go with this one right here. So in this one, we have a parenthesis here. We can see that it's going to be in the a row. It's going to be in the b row, so or the b naught row, sorry. And it's not gonna be in the d, but it will be in the c naught columns. So we are going to write it as this. And then for this last one, we have these zeros here. And we're pairing them with these zeros here because remember, we want to pair it with the most that we can. That's how the rules work. So these two are paired together. And then inside of here, we are going to have the a naught, of course. We can't have a c, we can't have the b's, but we can have the d naught. So that is what that is going to look like. And that is going to be our product of sum. So that is that equation. That is the answer for the product of sum again. So that's it optimized. Now we want to solve for the sum of products. So s dot o dot p. And for this, we are going to fill in the rest of our spaces with ones. So we'll have ones all up in here. Now that we have this, we just need to solve for our SOP. Pretty simple. So we are going to have that our F naught, and this is going to be a little bit different. We'll, we'll write this as uh, F naught for now. But um, with this, well, let's just start solving it and we'll go to how we're actually going to make it into the SOP in a second. So we're gonna write this out just like normal. Um, we're gonna solve it just as we did here. We're gonna combine the ones. Sorry for the confusion. But to combine the ones, uh, I'll do this in blue. We're going to look at this bottom part first, just cause it's super simple. We have all of these four right here, why not use them? So we have F naught, and then inside of here, we are going to have a A, because it's in the A rows. We can't use the B, we can use a C, and we can't use D, so we're going to have this like this. So that's that part. We can look at all of these, and looking at all of these, we are going to have a plus. Uh, we can't use the A's, but we can use a D, and we can use a C. So we're going to have a plus CD. Next, we're going to look at these two, and we're going to pair it across with these two. And so looking at this, we are going to be in the A naught row. We're not going to be dealing with the B's, or the D's, or the C's, because those are separate. We will be dealing with the D's, so we're going to have a D right next to this. For this last one right here, we have this one. We're going to be combining with this one, this one, and this one. So these are all going to be together, again, because we want them all together. We want to have the most that we can. So looking at this, 
we obviously cannot be in the A column. Uh, we can look at the B column though because they're all in the B row, sorry, not column, but row. And then they're going to be in the D row as well. We can't look at C because those are separate. So that is what that's going to look like. Now, we do have this kind of knot over top. So what we're going to need to do to get our answer is just put a knot over all of these. So not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, not here, individually. And so our answer is going to be that our F is equal to, we have an A naught, a C naught, plus an A, D naught, plus a B naught, D naught. And that is the answer for this problem for SRP. In the next video, linked below the like button, we will be going over part C. It's a little bit similar, but also we can see that it's written differently as well.